for the joint meeting of the Glendale City Council and the Glendale Housing Authority being called to order at 306 on this February 15th, 2022. And again, to slow the transmission of COVID-19 and protect the health and safety of the community, City Council, as well as Board and Commission meetings will continue to be closed to the public for in-person audience. The public is encouraged to watch and participate from the safety of their homes to practice social distancing. Meetings are broadcast on Glendale TV, Spectrum Cable Channel 6, ATTU Verse Channel 99. You can also stream it live on the glendalecagovernor forward slash live on youtube.com forward slash my Glendale or Apple TV, Roku and Amazon Fire devices using a free app called Screenweave and choosing Glendale TV from the menu. For public comments and questions during the meeting, call 818-937-8100. Public comments on a specific agenda item will be taken when that agenda item is discussed. May we have roll call for City Council, please. Council Member Agajanian. Present. Brotman. Here. Kasakian. Here. Najarian. Here. Mayor Devine. Here. For housing. Authority member Ajinian. Present. Agajanian. Present. Brotman. Here. Devine. Here. Najarian. Here. Parazian. Here. And Chair Kasakian. Here. Thank you. What's next? The agenda for the Tuesday, February 15, 2022 joint public meeting of the City Council and the Housing Authority was posted on February 9, 2022 on the Bloomington Board outside City Hall. Thank you. And what is our first item? One would be community development regarding affordable housing legislative update proposed legislation in support of affordable housing development in Glendale. A City Council motion to support affordable housing legislative proposal in support of affordable housing development in Glendale. B, Housing Authority motion to support affordable housing legislative proposal in support of affordable housing development in Glendale. Thank you. Um, Council, uh, Mr. Galanian. Yes, good afternoon, Madam Mayor, members of City Council, Chair Kasakian, members of the Housing Authority. We are pleased to present today to you an exciting opportunity for the Tri-Cities of Glendale, Burbank and Pasadena uh, to uh, receive additional, hopefully, receive additional funding for affordable housing that State Senator Portentino is considering uh, introducing the legislation through a regional housing trust fund. With that, I'm going to turn it over to Peter Zovac, our Assistant Director of Community Development, to provide you more details and answer your questions. Good afternoon, Mayor Devine, uh, Chair Kasaki, and members of the City Council and the Housing Authority. Um, the Community Development Department is recommending that the Glendale City Council and the Glendale Housing Authority receive this informational report and adopt respective motions supporting the affordable housing legislative proposal that is being sponsored by State Senator Anthony Portentino. Uh, and the proposal is allowing for affordable housing development in Glendale via regional housing trust fund JPA, otherwise known as the Joint Powers Authority. Um, recently, executive housing staff of Burbank, Glendale, and Pasadena discussed the idea of establishing a regional housing trust fund to receive public and private funds to help finance affordable housing development in re respective cities. Uh, this concept is similar to the actions taken recently by the San Gabriel Valley Council of Governments, wherein they received legislative approval to form a JPA and they were awarded $25 million in funds from the state of California back in 2019. And the funding was seed money for the establishment of the San Gabriel Valley Regional Housing Trust. And that JPA allows for certain San Gabriel Valley cities to band together to bring additional affordable housing resources to the San Gabriel Valley region. Um, after discussing this concept with his staff, Senator Portentino plans to introduce this concept as a bill on or before February 19th, so by the end of the week. Uh, this proposal would then work its way through the legislative process uh, for approval. Under the proposed legislation, the Burbank, Glendale, Pasadena Regional Housing Trust Fund, JPA, would be able to request and receive state and private funding allocations, as well as authorize and issue bonds to help finance affordable housing projects 
or income qualifying households. Uh, this mechanism has the potential to generate significant amount of funding that could be utilized to address the local affordable housing need here in the area. Uh, the proposed JPA would be modeled after the San Gabriel Valley Regional Housing Trust and another trust that was set up for the same purpose, the Orange County Housing Finance Trust. Also concurrently, but separately from this legislative proposed legislative bill process, Senator Quarantino has agreed to pursue a significant amount of funding as part of this year's state budget discussions to accompany the establishment or the hopeful establishment of the JPA. Um, while very preliminary in terms of details as to how the proposed JPA would operate, uh, it is necessary to start the process now with the introduction of the bill. Um, the prevailing opinion is that the current state budget surplus and that this legislative cycle is the most opportune time to be able to seek legislative approval as well as budget approval uh, to fund this activity. Uh, a similar request uh, for city council support has already been made and issued by the city of Pasadena. That was done about three weeks ago. And the city of Burbank is having their hearing today uh, to gain councils, uh, their councils uh, supported this proposal as well. If supported by the three cities and introduced by Senator Portantino, then the respective housing staff will begin the long process of discussing how the mechanics of a G JPA could and would operate. Uh, staff will present periodic updates and seek direction from the city council over time as this continues. These discussions are planned to take place over the course of the next 10 months, um, assuming that the bill and the budget progresses. And with that, that would uh, complete my presentation. If you have any questions, I can take those. Thank you. Councilman Ramajanian. Uh, uh, I don't have question. I spoke to Mr. Zobak. He's on top of this issue. I'm very happy that if we can get my 5 million along with other cities, my worries is that uh, somehow if we are getting money for this three cities. I want to be on the record that uh, it had should be should be divided based on population. I don't want a situation that three of us getting the money and then say we are three cities and we divide it among three cities. That was my concern. Mr. Zovac apparently is on top of it. You know, these things, it uh, takes a long time to come to a fruition. So I just wanted to be on the record to mention this here. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? Councilman Brotman, go ahead. Yeah, um, first of all, thanks to staff for um, generating this ID and bringing it to Senator Portantino and and, uh, and also thanks to Senator Portantino. I don't know if he's listening, but um, you know, it's, uh, this this would be great coup if we could get this. Um, and the only other co the only comment I have is um, just something I I just want to put out there, and I don't know if this is uh, even a direction we want to go in, but we do have that existing uh, uh, Arroyo Verdugo Communities Joint Powers Authority, which includes five jurisdictions. Right? It's it's the three. It's the Tri Cities, or is it six? The Tri well five, the Tri Cities, South Pasadena. Uh, La Cunada, Flint Ridge, and um, in wow. LA County, a portion of LA County, um, and uh, that already exists. And you know, we do regional work on transportation. So maybe I know we don't want to maybe complicate things up front, um, uh, but as as the bill goes through the process, um, you know, we might want to think about having it be aligned with that same group of, of cities that we already work together with pretty well. But um, I'm not, I don't have a strong feeling one way or the other. I, I will say though that I did uh, some research on that issue and, and the cities of La Canada, South Pasadena are already members of the San Gabriel Valley Regional Housing Trust JPA uh, as part of the San Gabriel Valley COG. Oh, are they? Okay. So, but there has to be, I, I think the point is, is that uh, once we start those discussions, there may have to be a discussion about a mechanism for whether, for or whether or not to allow other agencies that might want to join later on and, and how that could be handled. Certainly that's something we can look at. Okay. Any other comments, questions? Question, Question Madam. Uh, Go ahead, Council Member Najarian. So, so Peter does, um, 
you know, speaking of La Cunada, do they know what affordable housing is? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm serious. Have they built any affordable housing in the last 10 years? <laughs> I, I, I'm not aware of it. That's not to say that there hasn't been any development. And as I said, I do know they're part of the, the newly San Gabriel Valley Regional Housing Trust. And, and whether or not they take advantage of it yet, I'm not sure. I mean, they don't even allow multifamily housing at market rate, let alone affordable housing. So, you know, along those lines, how is Burbank? Is Burbank in the same league as we are in terms of commitment to affordable housing? Because I don't want to get thrown in with a you know, uh, affordable housing denier. Yeah. Well, in some of the discussions that we've had with Senator Portentino and, and some of the actual draft language in the bill, we do make a distinction for the three cities that are part of this proposal. Burbank, Pasadena, Glendale, we all have our own housing authority. We all administer federal Section 8 program. We all have uh, active affordable housing projects and portfolio. And some larger than others, uh, you know, granted, and, and, and that, but, but we do, and Pasadena and Glendale are the only two um, city agencies with a continuum of care as well. And so we do make those distinctions and arguments saying that's why we think we are different from the rest of the region and would like to form this, this trust fund, JPA. Um, and, and, you know, and it's all a matter of, of finances and ability and, and, and staffing and, and policy and desire as well. So I, I would say that all three agencies do have an interest and some are, are more active than others, but um, certainly the most active in the immediate area are the three cities. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Okay, thank you. Uh, anyone else? I, I just wanna make sure, um, Mr. Zovac, that uh, specific criteria for the distribution of this these funds are, is is taken into consideration if and when this JPA is uh, it comes to fruition uh, because um, you know I can I can right away see you know other cities you know just like when we pass these bond issues and we end up getting just a, a small portion and, and LA gets a big portion I just want to make sure that we get our share our fair share of funding if and when. Now the San Gabriel Valley COG uh, has a JPA. They have a, is it active right now or is that waiting for legislation? No, their their regional housing trust fund is active and has been active since uh, I think 2020. Oh. So they do have some projects that they are funding to some of the small uh, San Gabriel Valley cities. Um, a good portion of them I think are homeless programs and projects that they're funding. Any issues on distribution or uh, lack thereof? We haven't had that discussion with them yet, but as council has noted, and, and I've taken note as well and, and discussed with the uh, staff of Pasadena and Burbank, there are concerns about how we can distribute and disperse that money. And not only that, but just, you know, if we do get a significant amount of money, how we're going to do some fund management and the policies and procedures we would have in place to protect that money uh, and, and whether or not it should be invested to try and generate more revenue and how that's done. So it is a very big undertaking that will require a lot of work over the course of the next 10 months if the bill progresses and we think it's going to be going somewhere. Madam Mayor. Okay. Yeah, yes, uh, Councilmember Kasakian. Yeah, um, I, I was going to, in fact, I have asked some very similar questions to what you just asked um, to make sure that Glendale does receive its fair share however we buy into this. Uh, conceptually, I think the idea is a good one because it's going to put more money on the table for affordable housing that wouldn't have been there otherwise. Um, specifically, uh, it may not be able to fund projects wholly, but in projects where we may have a gap in funding and we may need to close the gap, this can be a funds that we can draw on that the state is going to be providing an injection for as well. Um, so I'm, I'm supportive of it, but I share your concerns and I urge staff to study what has been done in San Gabriel and to ensure that uh, Glendale's interests are um, protected. Thank you. I agree totally. Uh, yeah. Any other comments? If I have one question. Uh, yes. yes. Uh, uh, 
Yes, uh, Peter, I understand there is no f fiscal impact issues to the city, but has there been fis fiscal impact issues in the past? Well, there hasn't been a proposal like this in the past, so uh, that hasn't been the case. And, and what we're asking simply right now is uh, adoption of motions supporting uh -huh. the proposed legislation. And then with that, we will have a letter drafted and issued by both the uh, chair and the mayor sent along to Senator Portantino as, as he introduces the bill. Thank you. You're welcome. And I moved the item. Thank you, Council Member Ojanian. Do I have a second? Second. Council or housing oh, authority? Please. That, that's, um, I believe, for the council. Okay. Um, for council. Now I moved the item. For the housing. That's fine. You did. You did. It's fine. And seconded from council? I'll second it. Brotman, Brotman did. Okay. So let's have roll call, please. Council Member Ahijanian? Yes. Brotman? Yes. Kasakian? Yes. Najarian? Yes. And Mayor Devine? Yes. Thank you. Now, do we have a second to Authority Member Agajanian's motion for housing? Second. Thank you. May we have roll call, please? Authority Member Agajanian? Yes. Agajanian? Yes. Brotman? Yes. Devine? Yes. Najarian? Yes. Farazian? Yes. And Chair Kasakian? Yes. Thank you. And so with that, we, I thank you all, Housing Authority members, and uh, we are uh, for City Council. I ask for adjournment. Move to May adjourn. I move second. And do we have a motion Council. for Housing Authority? Move to adjourn. There's second. second. Thank you. Okay, we are adjourned. Thank you. Thank you.